welcome back to Mason's ADV. Ride along with us as we explore off the beaten path, head out for some adventure bike camping, and keep you updated on modifications and new gear for adventure riding. Be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any adventures. Glad to have you along for the ride. Now that is the ugliest Maserati I've ever seen. I actually didn't know they made one like that. Like where do you, how do you even find one of those used? You don't. Right? <laughs> like could you imagine trying to get an oil filter for that at Pinkerton's and Wired? <laughs> <laughs> stopped on the way here. I have my service light on, so uh, I might be dead in a few minutes. No, but that's understandable. It's the bike. We don't have a service light on these bikes, because they never break down. Although no, they just send some smoke out the back. We don't need a service light because we can tell when they're not running. <laughs> Ooh, fresh gravel. Always. Fresh guys, Mason here, and I'm out for a ride today with DV's Adventures and Venom. We got the uh, KTM 790 Adventure, a KLR 650 times 2 We're, uh, actually it's been a while since I've ridden with the guys. Maybe this is only the second time I've done this this year, so it's really good to get out. We're going to uh, hit some trails and just generally go for a tour and see where we end up. I brought my camping gear just in case. Nice work. You know what, I didn't even bring my flip-flops this time. Oh, I see that. What's that about? And I also didn't bring my suitcase. Ah, shoot. I think because of the amount of mockery that I've taken over the <laughs> last year and a half. This constructive, it, constructive criticism. It actually fit and it actually Yes. <laughs> it's kind of it's weird to see your KLR without its hatchback. You know, it feels naked. <laughs> the KLR wagon. Yeah. Wow. Good times. The amount of things that I can take in that, though, I mean, let me tell you. Oh, an, entire, sure. an entire case of Pringles. Oh, easy. 12 pairs of sandals. Yeah. Easy. Here, Mason, you go ahead. No, no, I'm good. No, you'll take it way faster than me. Right. And this is your left spot. side. I'm left side. Yeah. See, I'm just learning how to shift gears uh, while standing up. Gotcha. Oh, feels good. Feels good. Oh, that might have been my rim. For real? Yeah. What's up with that? Okay. Suspension? I might have a suspension issue. Let's stop here, take a look. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. I know exactly what I've done. Let's hold up for DV. If you can stop there, I'll yep. wind my rear suspension down. I forgot about it being cranked. Look at that front rim for me. Yeah, man. I wasn't sure whether you meant front or back. This side, you're good. She hit hard. And DV's is kicking. So right here, DV at the bottom is your rebound damping. This big red nut. Oh, okay. So you're gonna give it two in. One, two, and you're gonna tell me how that is. Okay. And what that does is, it slows down the out. So it oh, compresses gotcha. right now and it's kicking. Yeah. So now it'll go. Perfect. Yeah. I am gonna have to pull the front tube, so damn it. That's, ah. See, it had been in for three years and the oil was breaking down. So when I thought I wanted it stiffer, I didn't account for fresh oil. So it really made it quite stiff then. And Dad keeps saying to me, don't worry about it. Once your oil breaks down here in a month, you'll be right where you want to be. So why did you add more? Was it too soft? Because the 
old oil had broken down enough that it did feel a little soft. It wasn't awful, I just, it was more of a test. I just didn't realize that like one, a half a centimeter would make that much difference. It was a good, a good learning curve. For sure. But 130, so with the cogent uh, DDC, the drop in damper cartridges, a 130 millimeter air gap is freaking perfect. And then you can adjust it from there with your top uh, compression. As you're breaking down the oil. Yes, As you, yeah. right. So I went from 130 to 115. So sorry, a centimeter and a half less air gap. 15 mil. Doesn't sound like much, does it? It doesn't sound like much, but it took two turns out of my compression damping. Do you guys ever wonder what the deal is with grappling hooks? Not really. No? no. Did you say grappling hooks? Yeah. No, they don't cross my mind often. No. I'm, I'm intrigued now to hear your thoughts. Yeah. Well, I just, I watch a lot of movies and I've seen a lot of grappling hooks, but I don't know if I've actually ever seen a grappling hook in real life. For starters. Oh, really? Oh, well, they're not that impressive. Did you play with them as a kid? Like, do you have one? Uh, not anymore. I think but I've I mean, had, we had them. a couple made up out of welded rebar. Yeah, I think I've had something like that, yeah. And what did you use them for? Well, you just throw it up in trees, and then eventually when you couldn't get it down, you left your grappling hook there. Yep. And why was it up in trees? Because you could throw it over a limb and then climb it. Ah. Yeah, that makes sense. Watch it, guys. A couple ATVs here. Bunch of ATVs, yep. Gigantic. Right. Hey, fellas, I think this is where they told us to put the large stops on. <laughs> Maybe this is like the 
cicadas. Maybe. Seems to be a fair number, doesn't there? You could even use the word plethora. A plethora I, of turtles. I think I've only seen one this year so far. Yeah, I haven't seen more than one or two, maybe. They've been pretty sparse. Maybe they just want to get to the other side. That's true. But was that the turtle? Well, I, I think it's like both turtles and chickens. Uh, yeah. Well, what came first, though, the turtle or the chicken? Oh, well, the turtle, for sure. That is tough. I'm not sure you can have one without the other. Not when it comes to roads. No, that's fair. No. But I'll tell you, if they both cross at the same time, I think the chicken would win the race. Unless the turtle has a grappling hook. That's true. Hey guys, if you liked that video, hit the thumbs up button for us. It goes a long way towards helping out the channel. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button in the upper corner for new videos every Sunday. We'd be glad to have you along for the ride. Sweet.